Oh dear, I appear to have spilt my silly hair stuff on myself today. <sighs> but don't worry, I've got something that can make up for it. This is the Ionic 5N and it was announced late last week. It's absolutely insane. The N engineers are obviously very proud. As a few days ago, it was announced at the Goodwood Festival of Speed, the promised land of the motoring enthusiast. And this is it, a handsome looking car. Those wheels wouldn't look out of place in a video game. And one bit of technology inside is even called the N Grin Boost for crying out loud. But we'll get back to that a little bit later. The car makes a pedestrian 600 PS. But if you want 641, you can press that N Grin Mode button and then it will spool everything up and you'll get a 10 second increase of power. Good for overtaking, I'd say. <laughs> The end grin mode though isn't even the best bit about it, oh no. The car has a pair of electronic motors that spin up to 21,000 revolutions per minute. To give you an idea of how fast that is, if the diameter of the spinning rotor is about 10 inches or so, that means that motor is spinning at 625 miles per hour. They, of course, haven't left the car standard. Obviously, apart from the incredibly amazing looking body kit, the massive wheels and interior changes, they've also had to make a load of changes under the skin as well. This includes things like lateral rigidity mounts and more reinforcement mounting and over two meters of additional adhesive and resin. They've done stuff to the steering rack, they've done stuff to the drivetrain, and they've basically completely ripped the standard car apart and placed everything inside, turned it up to 11 and went, there you go, sunshine. The car now has an 11 stage torque distribution system, an E-limited slip differential, so you should be able to go around corners much like any other of your favorite racing driver. And there is now a drift optimizer as well. So when I drive this car, I'm gonna have to convince Eden to pay out and splash out for a three hours of track time, j just so we can get the footage, yeah. There is also a clutch simulator as well, which might sound like a gimmick, but actually on a track, that could help out massively. The boring stuff, the car can be charged on a mere 350 kilowatt charger. And it's got even better heat management systems, which if you watched our previous Ionic 5 video, and you can check that out in the top right hand corner now, you'll know that that made a load of revolutionary leaps um, when they did the facelift version of that car in terms of heat management. Well, this goes even further. More to the point though, it will go from 10 to 80% in just 18 minutes. So you can do a couple of laps of the Nürburgring, plug it in for 20 minutes while you cool down yourself and away, there you go. Let's go and do another lap. The heat management system is actually really cool. It will do stuff like when you're driving hard, it will actually set, preset the uh, battery temperature to be lower than it should be to give you better performance while on the track. I don't know this yet and it's not confirmed, but every other Hyundai N car always comes with a specialized track warranty. So obviously when they do come in, check with us beforehand, but I would assume that that's gonna stay in place as well with this car. Of course you have radar guided cruise control and a bunch of other day-to-day -day stuff, but let's talk about more track things, shall we? You of course get launch control with the Ionic 5N, adaptive damp, track modes, track maps, and you can also simulate sound, which I know sounds like a gimmick, but again, knowing what speed to be in the right place, in the right time, on a track, really actually is a very good thing. Trust me on this. And for everybody who's already driven around the, the track, they're suddenly thinking, oh yeah, in an electric car, that actually would make sense if you're driving it on a track. And then obviously there's the way it looks. New chin spoilers, 
when you wrap around. Honestly, there is only one color you're gonna want this in and that's that baby blue, baby. But of course, all of the aesthetics aren't just for show. They're actually there to serve a real purpose. Hyundai are obviously massively proud of this car and they should be. I seriously can't wait to drive it. I'm gonna do my absolute utmost to make sure that we get to take it around a track and take it on daily driving roads when we get hold of one so I can go through everything with you. And just to help me out a little bit, make sure you hit that like button because the more likes we get, I'm sure the more I can convince my boss to shout out a little bit for some track equipment. Right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you want to see the updated Ionic 5 video, it's our most viewed video of over 75,000 views, you can click on the link on the screen right now. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.